Today, Wisconsin's Angela Kelly is live in Wrightstown this morning. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Rachel. Seeing a lot of damage, hearing a lot of damage being reported here in Wrightstown. Right now, we're live along Amos and Mary Court, which is on the west side of Wrightstown. If you take a look, you can see a large piece of a structure at the end of a driveway. What is that? I'll show you what it is. Take a look up here. That is a piece of roofing off of that shed. And if you take a look down over here, an even larger piece blown off by those overnight storms. Now the homeowners here were not comfortable going on camera, but they did say their home was not damaged. They are safe. They did take cover in the basement, but when they woke up and saw the damage, they were certainly shocked. They said the actual doors on the shed on the other side of the building were blown in, pushed in by the wind so much that they can't even get one of their vehicles out. Now, this is Sherry. She lives in this neighborhood here. And Sherry, tell us what the damage is like in your yard. Um, we have a lot of trees that are uplifted. Um, the grill was blowing, the patio furniture is missing, pool covers shredded. Um, we had a tree fall on our shed, and my mother-in-law lived next door, and she also has a tree and many um, that fell on her shed and many um, trees that are uplifted in her backyard also. Were you woken up by the storm? Yes, definitely. It came in, it sounded like a siren. It was just like heavy, heavy winds and uh, pouring rain and we tried shutting the windows and it was, it was a lot. It was, you could just feel the suction. Did you take cover in the basement? We didn't. <laughs> we probably should have, but uh, we stayed up on the first level. I know that you, I've seen you and a group of, of some of your other neighbors have just been walking around surveying the damage. I mean, what's going through your mind when you see this? Um, I guess we didn't realize it was as bad as it is. Um, it's definitely worse than what we thought. Um, and a lot of us were trying to find our patio furniture and things like that that are missing, that are just blew away. Mm -hmm. And what's next? Just a lot of cleanup, <laughs> a lot of work, a lot of chainsawing, it looks like. Mm -hmm. so. And a lot of people, a lot of people, I think the majority of people out here in Wrightstown without power. Um, I did take a ride out into the, uh, the east part, the eastern part of the, um, of the village, and I saw a lot of downed trees. I did see some um, electric crews out work utility crews rather working um, on downed power lines and whatnot some of the roads were closed uh, due to a lot of brush in the streets but on this side of town on the um, west side it appears that the actual structural damage appears to be worse also, um, before we let you go, just to let you know, if you know somebody living in Wrightstown, um, there is a shelter set up at the Wrightstown High School. The Red Cross is there to help anybody who needs help. There's no power here, so you never know what you're going to need, and I know that we'll put um, a link up on our website as well. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Angela. Angela Kelly live in Wrightstown this morning.